only on 12 News, one man is opening his restaurant doors to Red Cross volunteers and those victimized by flooding in Chula. 12 News' Anna Farish has the story. Just off Highway 49 East, one family-owned restaurant has become the local hub for those impacted by flooding. It's a story of kindness, strong community ties, and people coming together when you need them most. I'm just trying to pitch in and do my part as a citizen. To do my civic duties is to help do what I can do. With the Delta once again facing back flooding, OJ Love is doing what he can to help. Last week, he opened his restaurant, Big Daddy's, to the Red Cross. Inside, Love and his wife, Barbara, starting to make 150 meals for flood victims and volunteers. It makes me feel happy because I'm helping, helping and I'm giving back. Even though they ask for 100 plates or more, I always give them maybe 30 or 40 extra so we can make sure everybody eats. Big Daddy is now a place for people to bring supplies for those in need. Everyone coming through the doors, signing the wall as a memory. But it doesn't stop there. The loves got friends involved. Just having compassion on people who need help. You know, we see a need and any of us can be in that situation with either a flood or any other type of disaster. And so I, I believe that we got to be in support of each other. Volunteers are taking victims to and from the Red Cross shelter in Milestone. The little things that we do for each other can make a difference in somebody's life. And that's what we're all here for. You know, we're all in this small town. We all know each other. And like I said, we can't just pass by literally and watch people suffer and don't do anything about it. They're not the only ones helping out. A Chula pastor started housing victims even before the Red Cross arrived. I'm pastor of the church right down the road, Good Samaritan Ecumenical Church, and they have been housed there. Neighbors helping neighbors as history repeats itself in the Delta. In Chula, Anna Farish, 12 News.